Hey everyone, it's Alice and I'm here today with my unboxing of the Illumicate Archives The Winner's Curse Trilogy box. So I thought for today's video, because it is the Winner's Curse trilogy, that I would channel Kestrel and I would get all plaited up and I'd wear a fancy dress. So I am having a whale of a time and I have not even started opening this box yet. This is, I would say, one of my favourite series, but I've never actually read the third book. I've read the first two, gave them both five stars, and then I got too scared in case I didn't like how the third one worked out, because the ends of series normally disappoint me. So I've never actually finished it, but I did promise myself that if I treated myself to this box that I would force myself to finish it. So hopefully it will be a favourite series once I've actually read the third book as well. So we will bop on into here. As far as I can remember this has got a couple of items with it as well as the books, um, but it's been so long since I ordered it that I actually can't remember. So let's find out together. So first up we've got... If I can work out how to get into the bubble wrap. Interesting that they're not in the Illumicrate bags, but like they're really, really well protected. So that's actually quite nice. Trying to rip through. <laughs> Do you think I can actually get into these? <laughs> Here we go, so the first one I've picked out is The Winner's Crime, which is book two. This has the gorgeous purple edges, it has the new exclusive dust jacket, which has this kind of pearlescent, opalescent text, which is gorgeous, I'm loving the foiling on that. You have a moth on the back, which is that same kind of opalescent design. And then inside we have the bound in author's letter with the digital signature. And then we have, oh my God, that's so gorgeous. Under the dust jacket foiling. So on the front you've got all these like moths and things. And then on the back it says, if you won't be my friend, you'll regret being my enemy. That is a nice quote to have on there. That is a powerful one. I also love the fact that they don't have any kind of information about the author or about the book on the insides. It's just more design, which is really interesting. I've never seen, I probably have seen, I can't think of any off the top of my head that have done that. Then we've got The Winner's Curse, which is book one. And this is Again, with that really, really beautiful shimmery foiling, you have a kestrel on the back. That's <laughs> on the nose, I love it. <laughs> We've got beautiful kestrels on the inside and the front and the back of the end papers. Here is the actually signed one. Only the first one of these is physically signed. The rest of them are digital signatures. And then we have the kestrels. It says the winner's curse. And then it says happiness depends on being free and freedom depends on being courageous. These are just so beautiful. <laughs> Sean is not a fan of this art style or like the redesigned covers, so he's actually keeping my original paperbacks um, because I was gonna unhaul them because I'd hauled these instead. I just think there's something about these that really, really appeals to me, um, but Sean is not a fan at all actually, which surprised me. Then we have the last book in the series, which is the only one I haven't read yet, and this is The Winner's Kiss. And this has the gorgeous blue sprayed edges, it has a horse on the back, it has them in a bit of a romantic position on the front, so we've got that lovely pearlescent foiling. We've got some flowers and some moons or some coins on the inside of the end like the end papers this time forgotten the words for them the page flat things there's the bound in author letter again and then we have some horses foiled on the front cover with you don't need to be gifted with a blade you are your own best weapon which is just a nice kind of inspirational quote for all of us to live by i think you don't really need to be a fancy lady with a sword to live by that I hadn't actually realised that this one's actually quite a bit thicker than the others. I thought in the paperback form they all looked about the same 
size, but in hardback you can definitely tell that the third one's a bit chunkier. So these are my gorgeous stunning set and I love them and they're just so beautiful. I'm very happy with those. And then we will see what else we have in here because I can see we've got a box that has bite and sting. Has some scorpions and some bats and some manta rays and some spiders and some bees. And it looks like it sh should open. Oh, oh, I'm trying to open the back. It attempts to peel off back. And it has a hornet and a leopard and then it's like a big box. So you'd be able to keep this as like a storage box on your shelf. Especially if you can work out which way around to open it. Because I assumed it was going to be like that. Would like this be the front flap? But it's like that. <laughs> Would this be the front flap? Which I feel like this should have been the other way up. But that's just me being pernickety. It's still pretty. Then we have... Oh, is this going to be one of those little magnetic queen things? Oh, it is! We've got two, actually. We've got Kestrel and Aaron on these little magnetic queen things, which are by... Oh, God, I can't remember who designs are. I really hope that there's the, um... There is there is a spoiler card in here. That's good. I cannot remember. Mona Lime. Oh, how could I not remember that? These are by Mona Lime Art. The Bee and Sting book box is by Forensics and Flowers. Oh, there's a game in the series called Bite and Sting and they play it as like a strategic kind of like chess game. So it's meant to be like the box that the game would come in, which makes way more sense than thinking of this as a book. Cause if you think of this as like a game box, I would still expect it to open the other way around. That's fine. <laughs> Just... And then last but not least in here, we have this big old replica dagger and this is by Stacey McAvoy Corns and it is a stunning dagger it has like the little clawed taloned bird foot at the top so you can tell it's Kestrel's dagger and it's very pretty a very unique dagger shape and that is everything for this Illumicrate Archives box I really enjoyed this one I'm gonna be honest these items are probably the ones that I've liked the least just because I know everybody loves Monoly Maze coins and everybody collects the magnetic coins like nobody's business but I have legitimately never been a fan of them even since the first box that they were included in so having those is a wee bit of a bummer and I'm not a huge fan of the fact that the font on the box just feels like it's the wrong way around I mean if you're expecting it then you can always put something in it and put it up this way and then somebody will try and like get in your box and they'll be like oh it's not a box and then they'll leave it alone so i guess it's kind of like secret you can kind of conceal things in it but i'm not a huge fan of that and i won't use the replica dagger for anything but the books are stunning and that's the most important thing this is book box these are books that i want to read and i want to cherish and i love so i'm happy with the designs on the books even if the overall box was a little tiny tad bit disappointing but that's just me being picky and not really liking the decorative items as much as i like the useful items and yeah there's i mean the box is useful i'm just not a fan of the design on it but that's okay we all have different preferences if you got this box please let me know what you thought um whether you loved the designs whether you love these items whether i'm just being completely picky if you didn't get this box then you missed out let me know what your favorite item was what you really wish that you've been able to get uh if you like this video please give it a like and if you'd like to subscribe you would be super duper grateful we post new videos every tuesday thursday and saturday so we'll see you in a couple of days with another video bye Oh, I didn't take a thumbnail. It's fine. I got time. I'll try and do one without my address on it. Or I could just, because the books were announced beforehand, so I could actually just have my pretties with me. Pat has like completely fallen out. Oh, this is why I don't try and do pretty girl shit. <laughs>